Hey guys, this is Eric from EP Figure Unboxing and in this video we're going to take a look at Figma Special 84, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Um, I don't know anything about the game but I've read some stuff about it and my friends told me this is cool and this is why I got it. Uh, but anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here is the right of the box and here is the back of the box. And I do have the pre-order bonus and that's not wasting any more time and bust this thing open and see what we got. And here we have the figure still in the packaging and it does look like it came with a fair amount of accessories. Um, nowadays, I'm just happy when they give us more than one faceplate. Um, and he also came with these um, wards he uses in the game. And yeah, um, let's check out the figure itself. And here we have the figure itself. And for the most part, this figure is pretty basic. Um, it's just your standard Figma figure wearing a suit and we've already gotten a few of them and the design is very similar. Um, let's take a closer look. Um, my paint work is really clean. Um, everything looks really nice as expected from Max Factory. And let's jump straight into the articulation because I don't think there's anything you guys haven't seen already. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over from the neck down. He can look up, he can look down, you can turn his head no problem. But one thing I noticed right away is the cut over here. I'm usually not too critical with this kind of stuff, but it does look pretty ugly. Um, it gives him a little bit more range, but I don't know. I don't even think that's needed. But anyways, I just want to point that out. And the shoulder, you can raise his arm all the way up. You can swivel through the shoulder. You can curl about this much. And you do have bicep swivel through the figma joint. And you do have the ball wrist. And I really like how they made a cut over here so it's easier for him to raise his arm. Um, unlike some of the older figma figure like the Kazuma, it was very, very hard for him to punch. So um, this cut really helps. And the ab crunch is non-existent. Even though I think the articulation is technically there. But um, with the suit, there's just no way for you to do ab crunch. Which I don't even think he needs it anyways. And lower body is by far my least favorite design from Figma. But they have been doing this for a very long time. Um, where you can like pop this out. It gives you a little bit more range. But it's really, really flimsy. I, I don't really like that. Um, he can still stand just fine. And you do get a Figma stand. But you know, this is just not very fun. And you can push it back, but it's still pretty flimsy. I'm not sure if this is just my figure, but do let me know in the comments if yours is like really tight. Um, but yeah, mine's pretty loose. And you can bend his leg about this much. And the side to side pivot is not too good due to the design of the pants and you don't have the toe hinge. So in terms of articulation, um, it is sufficient for the character, but in modern standard, it's pretty medical. Uh, but anyways, um, let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default face. Um, I didn't play the game, so I'm not 100% sure what he looks like, but I'm guessing this is pretty close. And I think it looks pretty good. And next up, we have a shocking face, and I think this looks pretty good. Um, it's really funny. I like it. And next up, we have the objection face, and I think it looks amazing. And lastly, we have the pre-order bonus expression. Um, I didn't play the game, but I'm guessing this is like, sorry, I'm late, or sorry, I screwed up kind of expression, right? And next up, he came with a lot of hands, and let's try them out one by one. And for the interchangeable hands, we can start with the pointing finger where he's saying objection, and it looks pretty good. And next up, we have a pair of display open hands when he is really shocked. And next up, we get a pair of hands for him to hold the evidence or fabricated documents. And it's really generous that they gave us a pair, so you can hold it either with left hand or right hand. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we have a pair of flat display open hands for him to pound on the table. And the table is actually really well made. Um, the whole plastic feels really nice and it's very nicely painted. I like it. And then we get a pair of Figma holding hands and these are pretty standard. And lastly, we get one left hand that is holding a coffee mug. Um, I'm assuming this is coffee because attorney are usually very busy and they don't get much sleep. Um, but anyways, um, let's jump straight into the size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with the SH figure as Dragon Ball figures. And in terms of scale, I don't think he's in scale with anything, but I don't think he really needs it because it's a standalone character. And next up, we have the amazing Yamaguchi Venom and Spider-Man. And then we have some SH figure arts Naruto figures. Some American IP SH figure arts. And then we have some of my Mesco 112 collective. And then we have some SH figure arts Kamen Riders and Street Fighters. And lastly, we have some recent Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, the figure was pretty decent, but it wasn't mind-blowing good. And don't get me wrong, I'm just not that attached to the character because I didn't play the game. Um, the figure's got great sculpt, great paintwork, and it comes with a fair amount of accessories. So for those of you who played the game and never had a figure before, you're going to like this guy a lot, I think. Um, and for those of you who are like me, just looking for something cool to buy, I think you can buy something else. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out. Um, but anyways, I think that's it from me. And do let me know in the comments what you guys think. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Eric. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.